Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J. Hill. I am in the building. Uh, this is a different installment of J. Hill Podcast. I don't even think we calling this J. Hill Podcast, but my dog Wayno here. They what's loving up? it. What's up? Hey, what up, bro? They loving it, bro. Well, how you do that funny-ass intro? I don't know. That's, 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 that's how I work. You feel me? Like, that's my work, bro. Can I work? Yeah, I'm fucking with you. You know I, I be fucking with you, that's all. You always want to fuck around, man. So what? What's up? What you, how, how, how you like the... Uh, this, nah, man. it's dope Because remember You sent me the, the flick the other day Pull your day. mic close, man Pause huh? Pull your mic closer, pause Man, you be talking crazy Alright, um You sent me the set the other day And mm -hmm. I, when I seen it I was like It's a lot of potential You feel me? And you you killed it You know what I mean? Even though You got this picture oh of Kobe Oh my yeah, like, well, I just I love the picture of Kobe You know what I mean? I just I know well, that ahead, you probably bro. Didn't never see that game before Nah, I didn't What a shame I didn't But Kobe my favorite player How? And you don't even know that moment. Nah, because I never was into basketball like that. But Kobe, he's, I, I feel like he was like me. Like that mama mentality shit, like relentless. <laughs> I feel like he was like me. Yeah. <laughs> what you going to say? I think I'm like him? Yeah, that make more sense. Why? Because, because Kobe being Bryant? identified with the person that's setting the mindset. Like you didn't set the mindset. How the hell is you? Is he like you? Because before I met him, I had that mindset. Okay, I got that. So like, he's still, I mean, he's a, one of the greatest players to ever play. I yeah. hate that he don't get his his... His recognition because from what I hear, yeah. right? Because he plays so similar to, to uh, Mike. Michael Jordan. I don't nah, it's not. It's not that. It's not that. People just don't really don't like him. That's what it really was. Kobe was an asshole. I could say as one of my favorite players, I know that he was an asshole. But like, it's that. It's um, you know, the him versus Braun stuff and how Braun achieved more than him. You know what I mean? It's it's a lot of stuff. Kobe was a dog. I ain't trying. He to was. No, he's one of the greatest, bro. He's one of the greatest offensive threats ever. And he played Ever. defense too. Yeah, great defense. I, I remember that game when he ran down from from uh, post to post and blocked LeBron shot. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that. That yeah. was years ago. Facts. Yeah, come mm -hmm. on, man. One of the, one of the best. Me? Like uh, I remember you don't that. Get no points for that, but well, I, mean, I don't get no points for that. Nah, man. You were tripping. It's because you remember one one highlight. <laughs> I remember when he hurt his uh his Achilles. Achilles. Everybody remember. He's that. a dog, bro. Yeah, everybody remember. LeBron that. not doing that. I, no, I listen. I don't think. See, but I don't want to have a con a basketball conversation with a person that's not a basketball person because it's not gonna go good. I mean, you have hip hop conversations with. Yeah, you got a good point <laughs> with that. But Braun, bro, I'm not. Braun hasn't had like severe injuries, but he's definitely played injured. Like, he's definitely played injured mad times. He just he, they just don't talk a lot about his injuries, and I think he don't let it get out there that he injured. I guess. You know what I mean? What you mean? You, you, Oh, yeah, I yeah. forgot to tell y'all, man. Chaz is in the building. Wolf is in the building. Leem, am I saying it right? Mogul Leem. Mogul Leem is in the building. We in the crib, man. We, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, different. It's you feel me? We just vibing. What's up, everybody? Yeah. Also. What? But you know who else asshole? I might have caught him on a bad day. What? Alan Iverson. What happened? Bro, so I'm in LA. Mm -hmm. I'm at this event. And I don't do pictures. Like, niggas always be like, Jay, you got to take pictures? Like, mm -hmm. do it for the gram? I never, I never was into that shit. So the one day... That I'm like, put your pride to the side. The mm -hmm. one day I see uh, Alan Iverson, I'm like, it's Iverson, cool. I'll put my, it's Iverson. Like, of course, I'll put my pride to the side for Iverson. I'm like, bro, can I get a pick? He's like, bro, like, you see it. I'm like, what he said? I don't know. I don't remember what I know. He was like, bro, like, nah, like, you don't see, like, something. And I'm like, damn. Like, it wasn't like one second. No, nah, like, he ain't played. Nah, some niggas be like, they play the 50, like, just give me a second. He was straight. Yeah. No, nigga, like, I'm like, I remember AI, AI took a chick off me one time. <laughs> what? I was not nah, dead ass. I was like 19. I was like 19. I was in Philly. And what was crazy about it was, I'll never forget this day because earlier that day, he played the Dallas Mavericks in Dallas. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. He played the Dallas Mavericks in Dallas. I end up going to this spot called Blue Zet. I don't even think Blue Zet ex exists no more, but people from Philly know what Blue Zet is, right? And um, it's in like Center City, I think. Or old, was it Old City? Whatever that is. But I was in, a, in this little spot, dancing with a chick. She had her hand up. That nigga walked over and grabbed her hand and pulled her off. <laughs> wow. That's... I couldn't do nothing. He's Allen Iverson, bro. I used to get my, I used to tell my moms, yo, braid my hair like this. Like, nah, facts. You know what I mean? I can't, what, it's AI. Like, yo, know? let's get to it, man. What's up? I feel like there's a couple things going on. Yeah, you got, a, you got a couple things to answer for. You got to answer for your war crimes. Bro, I don't think it's necessarily bad to think that, um... I didn't say anything, so I want to know what you about to talk about. That Drake was going to win. No, it's not that you thought he was going to win. You said 
use these words verbatim. We could go back to the tape. As a matter of fact, Jay Hill, this is your show. So I want you to insert the clip of what you said right here. Now we coming back out the clip, right? Jay Hill said he is going to smash him. I did. You said he's going to smash him. Yes. And I said, I said, it's one thing to say, and I said, but smash? And that's how we got to the whole overrated thing. Because remember, it was so many people that was like, you won't let him talk. You won't let him. And we was having a conversation for a minute. You feel me? And you said that he was going smashing. And I mean, you learned. Can we go through the timeline real quick, bro? Yeah, let's go through the timeline. Oh, man. So they dropped like that, right? Future drops like that. Future on drops his album. Like that. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar, big feature, is kind of like Control at the moment, right? Bigger. But you get what I'm saying. He comes out, get the calling niggas out, right? Yeah. Calling Drake out. He didn't, he didn't call niggas. He didn't, he didn't He said, say, fuck the big three. It's just big me. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't say everybody. He said, for all your dogs getting buried, he made very direct references. He didn't make it to everybody else. He made it direct to him to let him know that he was asking for him. Okay? Yes. So... Drake responds with euphoria, right? I mean, um, yeah, he go, yeah. Uh, my bad, push ups. push ups. But when he drops push ups, I don't think uh, Kendrick Lamar didn't like just respond. He didn't. So Drake goes on to start trolling him. So in my mind, at this time, I'm thinking Drake is ready for war. He trolling him. He he poking the bear. I think he was ready for war. It's and just he wasn't ready for this. No, he was ready for war, but that just being ready for war don't mean you're gonna win the war. Because then he dropped Taylor Made, and then remember we got the preview of Family Matters when he like drive, yeah. drive, like he he previews that on uh what's that on pushups. I'm sorry, and this might be a wild take too, but the way it ended, you wasn't ready for war. That's like me wanting to fight. If, if I want to fight a nigga, right, and I get my ass whooped. That don't mean that you. That I wasn't you ready for what the fuck was coming. Nah, you nah, bro. Never was a good fight. Cool. Yeah, but this I mean, wasn't a good fight. I mean, listen. You was ready. You put yourself in position, though. Feel me? Because he dropped. Look, he dropped. Taylor made the Biggie. I mean, the Tupac Snoop shit. You know what I mean? I don't care what nobody said. Taylor made was funny to me. It, it was a funny level of trolling. You feel wow. me? It was a funny level of trolling. Then I was because I'm like, come on. I'm like with, Ken, with Kendrick. I'm like, what the fuck? And then you, then Euphoria came. The thing was, I don't think nobody because Kendrick takes so much time. Nobody was prepared for him to go back to back to back to back because he basically dropped the EP of diss records. Nah, I don't know, bro. I, I don't what you mean I, you don't know? I mean, I, he did. He did drop. No, a no, he up. did drop. Yeah. A lot. I'm, I'm saying, far as all, the, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with what I said. Like Euphoria was cool. And, and, cool? Matter of fact, no, no, no. Matter of fact, after listening to it again, I like Euphoria. Euphoria was cool. Y'all, y'all heard Euphoria, Euphoria right? was cool. Euphoria is one of the best disc records ever, bro. It's one of the best disc records ever. Euphoria is OD, man. Now listen, maybe you ain't listening with the same ear. Don't think about not like us at all. Don't think about not like us. Don't think about meet the Grams. Don't think yes, about six sixteen. I'm not. And when the Euphoria came out, I didn't like it at all. I, okay, I'm saying go back and listen to Euphoria, bro. That is one of the most. That's one of the best. It's the best. It's the best. Now look, you can say what you got a hundred times. Not like us is a hit record, which everybody was like, "Yo, Drake going, Drake going to do a, a a a hit record against him." That's what everybody kept saying, right? Yeah. Not like us is a hit. Euphoria is the best song out the whole shit. To me, this record for this record is Euphoria than Family Matters. I mean, yeah, Family Matters. Okay. Because Family Matters is OD. Yeah, Family Matters is good. But but I, I, the thing about Family Matters being OD, my fault, I'm going to let you get to your thought, bro. The thing about Family Matters being OD is, is like, it's just certain, if Drake would have focused directly on, on Kendrick. Kendrick and Kendrick alone, it would have been better. I, don't, I still think it was going to be the same outcome. But I think it would have just been better because he was... Going crazy on Ross, yeah. weekend, all of them. You feel me? My thing with my thing with like Euphoria was good. I, it was good. It was good. All right, go listen to it again. It today. I bet you'd be like, nah, I ain't gonna front this. I'm, I'm gonna do that, but not like us, bro. It's a black. It's a it's a black cultural moment. Is it bigger than um back to back? I don't think they comp I don't think you could compare them the same. You got to. They both this rankings. They no, both. I, I don't think you could compare them the same because not like us. No, no back to back is. A, is OD, right? It was OD. But the difference between Not Like Us and Back to Back is it wasn't no dances that came with Back to Back. Right. You know what I mean? It was anything, any song that comes with a dance will last forever, bro. There's no song, bro. You could go back to Beat Street or like, there's no, in rap history, there's no song with a dance that people don't remember. 
Everybody remembers Lean with it, rock with it, yeah. Soldier Boy, the 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 um the jerk, the ev everything. There's no song that comes with a dance that people don't. And it's the song with the dance. It's the, the, the gang culture in in LA, the, the kind of uniting because everybody ain't united as far as gang culture out there. But it's kind of them uniting. It's black and brown in LA. And the, the thing I hate that because bro, what I learned between and I say this for even for Kendrick fans, bro. Because I like to consider myself a Kendrick fan, and I like to consider myself a Drake fan. But, bro, the stands is horrible. Because they still trying to find ways to legitimize, like, anything. Like, oh, like, the whole, yo, Drake, uh, I mean, uh, Kendrick, girl, ain't, ain't she don't follow him on Instagram, but she follows Day Free. This is a clue right here. She, then she but, in the video dance. Yo, but, that's right, why, but that's why I'm saying, that, all right, that's why I'm going to go on record and say, I think... Real life over I think not like media. us is better than, not better than, like as a song, but I think it's, it's bigger than back to back only because how everything happened. He dropped the song and go crazy, right? Yeah. Then he dropped the video. It's directed by Dave Free. Dave Di Free directs all his videos. Yeah, right? but the fact that like Drake is coming out with allegations saying, bro, that's your, that's your, I'm I know, saying? but I wasn't, I mean, it, maybe, maybe you didn't know that, but Dave Free directs, you remember King's Dad video with um Future and no. Jay? Mm -hmm. Damn man, this nigga don't know nothing, bro. <laughs> um, but anyway, Dave Free directs. Dave Free has been directing videos for a minute now. Yeah, you know but what Drake mean? tried to pull, like Drake tried to pull him apart because it was not his, real. But that's why I'm. But saying, you was believing it. No, no. I mean, well, I don't know. Yeah, like, so yeah, yeah so yeah, so like, maybe. So so from a fan perspective, yeah, maybe I'm believing it, right? But to see him direct the video, his wife in the video at the like what you just said at the you saying that y your kids is by day free right? She not following him. We thinking I it's, never believed that. Nah, you probably you a hip hop head. No, but, but for I, people but that I, don't know no better, we probably I'm people, saying yeah. it's some nostalgic in there. People probably believe it, right? So for him to drop the video, what does that have to do with nostalgia? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you just saying words that just. Niggas no, no. Be I mean, words, I mean, bro. no, no. I mean, nostalgia. You think about nostalgia. You think about some, even though it's like it made you remind you of some old shit. No, but nah. no. That's you, what nostalgia you, means. You, you, the, meant, the video. you, meant you, sh you hit the backboard, bro. You didn't hit. You didn't hit that shot. All right, look, bro. Why you just fuck up my point? What I was because saying? Because you didn't make a point, nigga. We having a discussion with English language, bro. I was making a point, bro. All fuck right, the ahead. damn word. <laughs> shit. God damn. I'm fuck. sorry. I'm mad literal, bro. All right. What's the what's the best word to put in there? I don't know what you was trying to say. It makes you visualize something. Did you say that? <laughs> I'm looking for a better fitting word. No, not that's more like nostalgic. Basically, what I was trying to say is y'all fucking me up. So basically, what I was trying to say was it made you it made you visualize like okay, I'm thinking that they are static, it's static there. He, yeah. he put out this false narrative that's static, yeah. and the fact that she's not following him, right? That don't mean nothing. No. It, it, it could mean something. It don't mean nothing. You just said it, it, it started up the pot on the internet. Clearly, the people that didn't because know. Because people is just because but, people. But no, wanna... just because we can't because not forget the because. I'm saying that it did do something. If it was true or not, it did something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So for him to drop the video on the fourth of July, with his wife in there, directed by Dave Free, it's showing you that. strategy. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I think that's fault. what that's what adds to the that's it adds. He wouldn't have did that if it didn't add to it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I feel like it adds to the moment. So first of all, right, he dropped not like us. It's fire. Everybody talking, not everybody, but niggas that's Drake fan stands is talking shit. Like he can't drop a hit. Drake gonna drop a hit, including me, right? Drake gonna drop it. He going back to back this nigga, no, you, right? Let's, let's, yeah, but you was. I, I know, I know, I know, ahead, right? Ahead, so I'm just playing the picture. I'm, I'm digging a hole for myself. So like, <laughs> like so. We like yo, he not he not fucking with Drake, right? Uh -huh. Drake gonna drop a back to back too. It's gonna be over. He gonna get this nigga out the way. Uh, Kendrick not about to drop nothing. That's gonna be on radio. Yeah, he dropped not like us. Shit is fire, and then he dropped the video. So it make me. It just it reminded me. Yeah, but the, uh, but but hold on. See this this the re all right. Whether you a Kendrick fan or not, how could at any point in your life say Kendrick gonna drop something that's not gonna be on radio, bro? Ken, every every album that Kendrick has, he has a radio record. I'm just, but see, this is yeah, 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 this okay. is where look, this is where you 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 lack. You know what I mean? Your ignorance of music seeps in because what? because bro, Kendrick has 17 Grammys. I don't care for Grammys, right? What Drake say? Yeah, you, you, Kendrick just, open, is open his mouth. just give him the Grammy, right? Like Fact. he has tons of Grammys. I think that like. Cause I seen Goods, uh, Battle Rapper Goods. He said the same good. shit as you about him being overrated, right? And I think that because people think 
Well, since I don't listen to it, and where when I'm at the cookout that I go to with these types of people, or when I go to the club or this brunch or whatever, they don't play that, that it don't exist. You feel me? And that is insane. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at if you look at just music overall, bro, nobody, everybody don't listen to the same thing. It's the same thing like how people was like, oh, what was that? When the pop out concert happened. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, so you mean to tell me? That 20,000 people in the forum is the ones running up all these streams. He got bought. It's like, yo, bro, so you think that Kendrick is only listened to in LA? Like, mm -hmm. that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous for people to think like that. Now, the whole, the day free shit, this is what that made me not like Parts of Family Matters. Only because I know Day Free. You know what I mean? And I don't know Kendrick. But I, I like me and Day Free got a, a good cordial relationship. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, bro, to allege that him, his man... Is sleeping with his girl is crazy. The same way I thought that on Family Matters, like for him to have a Drake to have a a, a daughter in a in a tuck would be crazy because I'm like, nah, bro. The way he got outed about his son, this nigga not letting another kid yeah, sleep. Like he's not because yeah. I don't even even push a he got in front of it, but I don't think that Drake was necessarily just hiding a kid. I just think that he wasn't prepared to let everybody know he had a kid, bro, or just show it. Because you got to remember, bro, anything this man does is televised news. He took a picture with Michael Rubin yesterday, and it's the hottest thing on social media. Yeah. The thing is, is y'all got to take y'all lives out of social media and live in the real world. I know that for the average consumer... You don't see this and you insinuate that all of these behind the door things is going on and it's all coded. That's bullshit, bro. Mm. People live real life. You feel me? Like no. people live real life. Do you do you <laughs> I don't think Drake can be for nobody else? No. Like No, I don't I don't no, I don't never I I don't want to hear But no. I think I, I don't think he can't. I just think that he went they we seen the if you see the top fighter go against the top fighter, you don't really want to see him go against nobody else that ain't at that other person he fought, whether he lost or won. Because I think that... It well, depends how you lose, though. Because I still... Me, I'm probably one of the few that I would still love to see Crawford... Um, uh, What's the name again? Spence. Yeah, he, <laughs> I would love... I would... I, I would Because, like, think about it. He looks smaller. I, all right. I would like to see him higher in weight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would like to see him fight at, at a different weight class. You know what I'm saying? But this is like, ain't no weight classes. Ain't no weight... You man, feel me? I like... Don't, it, listen, I don't want to see I don't want to see you talk about... No, but don't even... I don't even want you to do the classic Drake thing. Don't talk about this shit on your project. Leave us alone. Leave that man alone. Don't say his name. Don't do no subs. Well, don't I'm say happy you, you learn more than anybody. No, I'm being serious, bro, because... The, no, I'm, I'm being serious because I'm, I'm just keeping it a stack, right? Like, Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest artists of our time. Mm. And when I say our time, people be saying, like, they think, like... I think people quantify our time as like the time when they was a kid or something. Because I remember when I was when we had the Isaac Hayes conversation. Yeah. And I said of our time, mm -hmm. our time means while your your ass is alive. You feel me? Like of our time, it ain't it, it won't be Kendrick a hundred years from now. No. You know what I'm saying? But of our time, this is some of the best. And that's why I told you to go tap in with the music because it's so many people. Yo, I was in a barber shop and a nigga tried to tell me. He said that, yo, you know Kendrick, he like currency. I'm like. What? Like, he said he raps like currency. I was like, no, he don't. He's like, yeah, he rap backpack. I said, bro, Kendrick speak about the streets. That's mm. all he talk about is the streets. He just do it in a certain way. No, man, I, that just showed me that people don't be listening to the music. I can see where he's trying to go to correlation, though. No, I don't at all. I can see where he's trying nah, to I go. I don't at all. Like, I don't at all. When it comes to, like, uh, lyricism and just, like, being What's lyricism? woke, so, so to say. I'm happy you said that. What's lyricism? I mean, lyricism, the way you put words together, you know what I'm saying, wordplay. Lyricism, but but by defined by the definition, it is how you put the put words together in a beautiful way. That's in the definition. Mm -hmm. So whatever you de whatever you define as beauty, depending on what you looking at, because art is different and interpreted For by sure. different people by different ways. It's just beauty with words, right? So a lot of times people say lyricism, they think that you got to be rapping like Lupe. It technically it could be anything. Te technically. It can. Yeah. Technically it could be anything because <laughs> it's all subjective, right? Yeah. But at the same time, it's like the lyricism, even when people say his lyricism, bro, just listen to what the nigga be saying, bro. He be rapping about real shit. Because I, I was having this debate in a, in a barbershop and, and with a nigga from Atlanta. He's like, nigga, I'm from Atlanta. I can't relate to nothing from Compton. I was like, you could relate to That's poverty. That's not true. 
Yeah, that's that's not you could, true. You can relate to police brutality. Brutality, but that's <laughs> but he don't. That's what I'm saying. He you can relate to, to gang culture because gang culture exists in every everywhere, even in places where they don't have the same gangs. Mm -hmm. If it's not, it don't got it. It's not bloods and crips everywhere, but you got blocks. It's yeah. the same mentality. It's the same. So it's like the, to hear somebody say that. Oh, it, it, I can't relate to that. It just shows me that you don't listen to the music or you lazy. Just say that. I mean, you lazy. So you know, what I mean, I'm not lazy. You you la you're not lazy with, I'm with not running lazy. and working out and stuff like that. But you lazy with your ears. Like I'm just keeping. I'm it not thousand. lazy. You are lazy I'm with your ears. So, I'm so not lazy. You lazy with your ears, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. You lazy with your ears. I probably I'm ignorant. That's a better word. Yeah, ignorant is a good word. I, I, but I, that's, I, I listened to Kendrick Lamar a few times since that conversation. Mm. I probably know more about Kendrick songs than. A few no, I people. Know, I, doubt. I ain't gonna say most people like I a few. It. Bro, I, I listen to Mad Kendrick Lamar. I've listened to I listened to that that damn project like four damn times. Now I just want let's just go on the record that your man said he listens to Kendrick Lamar post Drake Kendrick Lamar beef. because I I'm just, not I lazy. Just, I, That's my point. I know, but I'm. Just I don't. Saying. I still don't. I don't care for his music like that. But I mean, you listening to it though, so I just because I'm not. That's my point. I'm, I listen to the music because I'm not lazy. Because I made a statement and I needed to go do some research and really understand why people like this guy. Right. I'm just. That was it. That was really it. I, right. I still stand on. It ain't my favorite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it ain't. It just is what it is. I'm just saying. I don't think I I'm lazy. You. Like even when you said, I was going to say for you right. to say like <laughs> about time. I don't think. Isaac Hayes and the uh and Kendrick Lamar can be put in that same sentence. What you mean? When you say like the when you talk Greatest about like, music, like uh, artists of our time, why yeah. not? Because Isaac Hayes won, that wasn't my time, but he was so good that it bled into my time. He's probably one of the most influential artists or songwriters ever. Right? He was the so like even now he know about Isaac. I do Yo, this know. This so said, funny. No, no, you no, had no. to go do homework because you got it. Okay, cool. I'm just showing you I'm not lazy. But not, not even that. Not to give you no history lesson because I, I, it's fresh in my mind. But what I'm saying is I don't think that's a good comparison because I don't think that... I don't think Kendrick Lamar's... Half of Kendrick Lamar's category um catalog will be sampled as much as... To, I'm not talking about sampling or nothing. I'm just saying... Influence. That's influence, though. That's, that's a no, no, big I'm part not of saying, I'm, I'm not saying... I'm saying influence. Influence doesn't mean that you have to sample a record. Influence means... It's, it's just as, like, influential as... I mean, when you have the conversation about influence as to, like... Make you move, get up and do something No, to not it. make you move, get up and do something. I'm just saying ins inspiration, right? It's people that... You don't have to make a song to be inspired by an, a, a person who raps you that makes songs. You to do something, though. It, or it doesn't mean, necessarily mean you have to do something to... it. Like, all right, you have people... The person who might have painted this Nipsey uh, picture, right? Right. Now, or this Tupac, right? Or this Obama... Yes, it's one thing to to say, um, this is a good picture for me to just draw and sell. But another thing might be might be to say, yo, this person inspired me. That's why I took enough time to do something. To do something That's what I'm right? saying. But what I'm saying is, is that you don't. It doesn't have to be music because you said sampling. You said I don't oh, think no, it's going to be sampling. You get, I don't think. I think what I'm saying is, I don't think half of his catalog or, or what his career does. I don't think. It will touch half as many people as what Isaac Hayes done, intentionally or unintentionally. I, I, but I don't think I, I don't think we have to I, I don't think we have to like rate it as who's gonna do more. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's contribution. Yeah, his Kendrick Lamar has one of the biggest contributions to hip hop as anybody else, as anybody else, as anybody else, bro. If you bring up any, listen, you bring up don't bring up one of these niggas that I'm had a song for Isaac summer dance. I'm just saying not not Isaac don't bring Hayes. no because when I said as anybody else you started looking no because I'm air. thinking because the conversation to Isaac Hayes and I'm like not even not, not as half as Isaac Hayes, bro. But not see, even half. But but that's because you're rating them against each other. I said in hip hop specifically, right now I'm not talking about I, what Isaac Hayes music has done for sampling. I'm talking about just influence overall. His contribute. He's one of the greatest artists. He's one of the greatest hip hop artists of all time, bar none. And you know why I can say that? Because even if you look at metrics, judge it on any category. Now, bars and all of that is all subjective. Somebody could be like, yo, that shit trash. I do not like it at all. Fine. Mm -hmm. Judge it by the stats. Judge it by platinum singles, platinum albums, Grammys, entries, whatever. He's successful, more successful than the average artist. And majority of hip hop is average artists. Facts. You're right. You know what I, I like? I know. About Kendrick Lamar the most though. What? Is just from my research or whatever, it's like his music, it's like fine wine, right? Not the music itself, but the numbers. Like, so it was some, it was some project, and I don't know the exact numbers, but like it was some Good project. Kid Man City is still on, it's still on the top 200 for over 10 for 13, 14, 
12 years now. And it was like, I think it was like at least two projects where it dropped and the, the, the sales out the gate, it was good, but it like, it did like the same, if not more, sales the next year, the following year. It's called influence. I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah, it was because it's good, it's good music. It's great I, music. I, it's like, listen, bro, Lauren Hill only has, the, we had this conversation before, Lauren Hill only has the miseducation of Lauren Hill and she has Unplugged. But those two pieces of art last forever. Yeah, for this sure. This what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, you look at, because listen, if Kendrick dropped the same level of album that he's dropped in the four albums or five albums that he has, and he dropped those albums every year, the conversation would be different. People look at consistency. That's still consistent. If Bro, if, if I don't play every year, but when I play, I play big and I win, that's consistency. Mm. But people look at it like, oh, no, nah, but you got to do it every single year. Like, yeah. if you don't do it every year, then I don't know it exists. Nah, you can't. Like, that, it don't, it don't like, work what have like that. Like, what have you done for me lately? That's what they, yeah, they look at. Yeah, but that it. it don't work like that. Because guess what? Because it'd be one thing if when he does something, nothing happens. Yeah. And nobody don't care. Every time he do something, people care. I mean, I, it, you can't really argue none of it. We've been talking about Kendrick. Yeah, you can't for argue th Kendrick. Thirty minutes now, we could. Stop. You can't argue at Kendrick at all now because I feel like he proved niggas wrong. It's like you gotta just pop out and show niggas facts. Yeah, you just, that's, yeah. that's 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 like, exactly what. Yo, happened. you seen this? Um, I wanted to ask you about Double XL, but before we get there, yeah, you seen this Ryan Garcia shit? He's an idiot. Ryan you, Garcia is just a, a idiot. You bro. like boxing? I do like boxing. I don't. I don't keep up with it when I like I did when I was when I was younger. I kept up with it way more. But and the reason why because sometimes I don't know what's the real boxing versus the fake boxing half the time. But Ryan Garcia is a clown. Bro. He's a clown. He's a clown. Well, I remember one time you said something on here. You was like, "Man, you don't like nothing." Mm -hmm. And I'm like, at first I'm I don't, but I like boxing. Yeah, I like boxing too. I fuck with boxing. Bro. I like boxing as well. But Ryan Garcia is a fucking idiot. Yeah, he's. A, it's he's like a... he was doing this intentionally to like, I bro. I think he gets high. I, I think he For gets. Sure. I think he gets high. Like I think. I think he gets high. Like all of that. I was at Bohemian Grove and they was, you know, doing stuff to children and stuff. Like he just, he's just a weirdo, bro. Did he, you hear the uh, audio? Yeah, I heard the audio. I heard the audio because, and this is the thing, right? The, the, he's like, he like the Joker, bro. Like sometimes you like him, sometimes you absolutely hate him. For real, bro. It's like, like the, the what he did yesterday was classes because even though he he said nigga with an A. The, in the context of how he used it, he used it with the hard ER. Yeah. But he was saying it with the A, but he used it in context with a hard ER. You feel me? And I just think he's a bozo. That, that like, wasn't, bozo. I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't that, like, and it's funny because it just made me think differently about the whole thing, like, other races saying nigga, because I'm, I'm, I'm super, like, lenient when it comes to that. Like, I don't be caring. But when I listened to it, when I was listening to it, he was like, bring bring George Floyd back to life to kill him again or some shit like that. And I'm like, yo, bro, what? He's an it, bro. He be high, bro. And somebody gonna hurt that kid. Somebody gonna hurt that kid. It's go Listen, you might could box, bro. And I'm not calling for it to happen, but somebody gonna hurt that yeah. kid, bro. Somebody gonna hurt that kid because he he playing too much. And it's like, like, like I said, the context and how he was using it. So the thing about like what people saying it, I don't really shit. Half the time, I ain't gonna lie. As I get older, I don't even like myself saying it yeah, in a facts. lot of instances. Nah, facts, you know what I mean? But 100%. You know, at the same time, bro, it's like, I just, whatever, bro. He's a corn. Yeah, that shit, that He's shit blew me. I, I, I'm looking at it, I'm just like, yo, I can't believe. Because I ain't gonna lie, I was one of the people that wanted to like him. Man. Like, through all, everything he been through. Like, even with, like, I wanted to like him. I liked him during the Haney fight, too. I did. I liked him, too, for sure. But Man. I don't like how niggas doing Devin Haney, bro. If the nigga was doing drugs, bro, on yeah, performance enhancements, that. it's like, bro, he was cheating. I get that. No, listen, I'm... What I'm saying is, is like, of course, and when the fight happened, nobody knew that. Yeah, fact. You know what I'm saying? So it's like post, yeah, I get it. But niggas is doing handy dirty now, like he it is. But that's just that's the internet, bro. That's just how the internet go, bro. Like, listen, you know how many times? How you you been to a boxing match before? Yeah. All right, how many times you been out there? And uh, again, the world is filled of average people. That and let's just talk about men for a second. The average man cannot do seven push-ups. Mm. The average man. The world is full of average men. How many times you been at a boxing match and you seen them talking about some yo if duck? I would've, yeah. Yo, if I would have, yo, hook, left, right, bro. Hey, you shut did. your ass up. And the, and, and the average man that fight, when you fight, you don't box. No, you fact. just swinging. Yeah. So it's like, bro, that, that's the average. And the average fight is probably like 15 seconds. Bro, it's, it exactly. It's, it's only 15 <laughs> seconds, bro. That, that, it don't be no long fight. No, it don't. So I'm right. saying, you don't fight for three rounds. Yo, bro, niggas can't even jump rope for three for three minutes, bro. Facts. This is what I'm saying, just on the physical side. So I like when I be seeing people saying stuff, bro, it's just, it's just the internet, bro. I see people say crazy stuff. A dude said to me yesterday... I don't know. He had a fake page, whatever. 
Do you see Joe Button talking about uh, him with Heineken and 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 uh, Esso on Bagfield, and he was basically talking about like domestic violence amongst women? I didn't watch the whole thing yet. Mm. Well, he it was a clip that went. Was, I guess it's going viral or whatever, and he was saying about like you know I guess women who put their hands on him. You know what I commented? All I just said was I can't relate. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I meant. What did he say? He basically said like you know how he didn't know that if he bought a girl a phone and like after they break up he takes the phone charges come from that. So it's like like if if I take if I bought you a phone but I take it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You could charge me with theft or something like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he was saying all this stuff and then he started saying about like a woman putting their hands on him and this and the third and all I commented like a human being was I can't relate. But about what though? About just about any time. I've never had no situation with a woman like that. Okay. I never had no domestic situation ever in my life. So all I'm saying is I can't relate. You I'm know, what, what, you know, you know what people start, uh, well, a few people start saying, oh, that lucky for you. Yeah, lucky for me, nigga. I'm just better at choosing than you is. You feel me? But why, bro, bro, niggas are, cr bro, that's crazy. Somebody say lucky for you. If in my mind, I'm thinking like, yeah, like it, it, you shouldn't want to go. You through shouldn't that. want it, or, or or like all I'm saying is that's all insane. I'm, I'm just commenting, right? I'm just because I have the right to comment, like everybody else. All I'm just commenting is like, damn, I can't relate to something like that. You feel me? So then it turns into, yo, this nigga sneak this and Joe, yo, that's crazy. Eh, what I need to sneak, but you know they're gonna say that about but you. But it's though. just, but this is what I'm saying about the internet, though, bro. Like me and Joe is is cool, but you, the average person would think. I'm assuming if you say anything about him because they they probably already think you took his spot. Average people, I didn't take his spot. I'm saying he they quit. probably think that he 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 did, he could have went back. And I'm he saying didn't they go probably back because he didn't want to. And they I probably ain't think got the that. money. And he that nigga told me you need to go get that money. <laughs> I believe you. I'm saying I know. I'm saying they probably think that they seen you know how people are retarded. People are really retarded, bro. They probably seen you on Can't every show after. I could use the fuck I oh, want. You use whatever. All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Fuck y'all niggas, right. <laughs> but like niggas is stupid, so they probably. But think... retarded retardation and stupidity is not the same thing. But okay. I feel you. Right, but, well, but go ahead. Yeah, because that's a real. Yeah, that's probably insensitive. My bad. I yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. You're right. People are stupid. Yeah, they and are. not like the. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the medical diagnosis. Like it's, people. Yeah, go ahead. Because <laughs> no, because I got something, bro. It's something that. But because look, alright, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just with social media, y'all, right? You know, social media, every now and then, I don't know if any of y'all tweet, but it's like sometimes you might just tweet something that's on no, your you mind. you be tweeting too much. Huh? You be tweeting too much. Sometimes I just got some time and I tweet what's on my mind. So I, I, I tweeted something like this, right? All I was saying was, I went I went to the supermarket, bro. I'm Muslim, right? I went to the supermarket and I seen that, like, I'm like, damn, I wanted some beef bacon, right? So you don't know what beef bacon is? Mm-hmm. Why you look like that? No, nah, because I'm just like, <laughs> so, so I just said, look, I just tweeted. I'm like, I'm like, damn, man. Like, supermarkets need halal sections. And then people was like, oh, that's that's bullshit. Da, 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 da. I'm like, damn, bro. I'm like, I'm a, as a Muslim man, bro, like, as a Muslim man, why I can't express that I want a halal section at my local supermarket? Because now, because then somebody was like, oh, but you know what? I, I never seen... Uh, uh, sections uh, dedicated to religions or people. They have a whole Asian section. They have right. a kosher section. Kosher is for Jewish people. Bro, they have all types of sections. All I'm saying is like, as a Muslim man that lives in the South, bro. They need a beef section. See, you going crazy. <laughs> you're, you're going, you, beef is on your mind. See, no, when I, beef when is I clearly said, on said, your when mind. When I said beef, see, the first thing he thought about was something gay. <laughs> look, look, I said beef, bacon. I specified it. I didn't say, yo, I went there because I wanted some beef. Pause. I didn't say that. I said I wanted beef, That's bacon. Crazy. This man is thinking nasty. He got beef in his mind. I don't know what you happened got beef with him last your night. Mind. I don't know what happened with him last night or what's going on today. All I know is that that's what he took from that, right? He's one of the internet people I'm talking about. I promise you. So look, all I'm saying is, and then I was greeted with so many people like, oh, not in Philly. I'm like, nigga, I don't live in Philly. Like, what are you talking about? Like, oh, they got it here. I'm like, bro, I'm not flying to Chicago to get halal. And they have halal places in Georgia, right? But mm -hmm. I don't want to have to drive 25 miles away from where I live to get what I want. They should have a halal section in a, a, a Kroger or a Publix, like how they got sections for every other group of people. Okay. I just wanted to vent for a second. <laughs> nah, bro, you be on your shit on Twitter, bro. I mean, it's fun sometimes. You go crazy. You got... What? You really like, like, you be, they need to take your Twitter away. For what? I don't say nothing disrespectful. No, nah, you be going crazy. What's going crazy? 
You be going crazy. What's going crazy? Because you, I feel like you just like the same way how you just use nostalgia just to make a, a sentence. I feel like you use that was going crazy. Why niggas can't never just like if I, we were just talking about I this. never let you. A nigga can't just let something go. Never make a mistake. Bro, they gonna been, keep bringing it up. You wanna know why, bro? I'm a, I've been holding grudges since I was in kindergarten. I'm always you need bring therapy, <laughs> nigga. Like you need I to do. go get some help. But we here right now. You the therapist, so you gonna catch these. You gonna catch these words. <laughs> you gotta relax. Yo, bro. what's up with the double XL freshman? You said uh, you were talking about Yeah, it. you saying you ain't like it. I you never sat in it. You what? said you ain't. You said, I didn't say, you said let's, these let's go niggas to text message. You let's said go to text these message. niggas don't deserve to be on here. I didn't say that. You let's said, go to text message. No, 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 no. Let's go to text message. Because you see this, him, he's an internet person, bro. He tried to say what stuff. What you mean? I'm an internet person. He tried person? to say, say stuff to try to get shit going. I did not never say that, bro. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> nigga said these people, you, you said you ain't like it. These people don't deserve I didn't say that. Just like you said, nah, bro, you're not going, nah, cause look, you're not going, see, you're not going to say day free, fuck my girl, so you're not going to do that, bro. <laughs> Yo, you're crazy. You're not going to do that. That's bro, what you, you be trying wild. to do. It's like you said, Dame Dr Dash, like you, you, that's what you said about Dame Dash. What I, yeah, I said that he talked too much about Jay Z. That's it. Can I thought anybody, you said, yeah. I thought can you anybody said, agree with that sentiment? Can anybody agree that? No, hold on. I, ain't for a second. I thought you said you ain't fuck with Dame Dash. I never said I don't fuck with Dame Dash, cause I can't. I don't know him. I don't know him. I'm fucking with you, bro. I know him 20 some years ago. I'm joking, bro. I know, but I'm just trying to make a point. Don't. Now we here. Oh, my God. This is what this man don't realize. He like the old head. Like, you want I keep... am an old head. At, 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 the, at the barbershop, like, man, bro, shut up, old head. Like, like, look, look, listen. Everything he put on me, pause, like, I'm I'm a own. You know what I'm saying? I am the old head. You feel me? This man said that I don't like the double except freshman. You ain't say that. I'm joking, bro. Right, Relax. Look, look. You said some niggas ain't belong there, though. No, I said that I don't think. Yeah, I said I don't think that certain pe two people should have been on there, which was Scarlett and Maya the Dawn. That's hate. That's not hate. What is it then? How is that hate? Because, because they deserve. That, they they earned that. I don't think. I don't think that they put in enough work to earn it. That's now, hate. That's not. How the fuck is that hate? That does. Yo, this is crazy. All right, let, let's let's have a let's have a conversation. Defend it. I'm gonna defend it. I'm gonna defend it. <laughs> I'm saying based off the work. Now, Maya the Dawn, she had a viral hit with Telfy, uh -huh. right? And she had another record after that. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's had a project. I know she doesn't had a project that people, that a lot of people have gotten into. Who is a lot of people? Who is a lot of people? Enough people to make my argument my argument. Where? Where's the numbers? What is that? In How New you York know City. This? You don't live in New York. Guess what? I'm from New York. Just because I don't live in New York, you think I don't know what's going on in New York? You the nigga that, that's from Baltimore Bro, don't know what's Maya going on in Bro, Maya the Dawn is probably like 20 years younger than you. That doesn't mean anything. So how do you know who's listening? What do you mean? You said- What do you mean? What do you mean? You uh, said you don't know what's going on in New York. I, I didn't assume. say I don't know what's going on I, in New York. Saying, I, I will hope you don't, going I hope, on in New York. I will hope you don't know what's going I'm on with 20-year-olds. In, with 20 year olds. in New York City, bro? Let me tell you something. This is the reason why- This is the difference between <laughs> me and Jay Hill. This is the reason why he will never have a job in music versus me who has a job in music. You want to bet? Because he's tell, he, this man said, I will hope you not don't know what's going on with 20-year-olds. I'm a music executive, bro. I sell you music. Even said you, you I don't... sell music for a living. Okay, I cool. have to know what's going so said, on with 20-year-olds. So, so said, so I said, have to know what's so, going on so with 20-year-olds. Continue. Year continue. Why, why Maya Dadon doesn't, doesn't deserve to be on XXO? I said that I don't think that she's earned it. I never said she doesn't deserve. I said I don't think that she's it's the earned same it. Shit. That's not the same thing. It's not the same so thing. So if she don't, if she didn't earn it, somebody give it to her. So the she don't same, deserve it. The same thing with Scarlett. I don't think that she's. I don't think that she's done enough work. I don't think that she's even one of those young ladies have done enough work to be put on that platform as the other people who are on the platform with them. Now, if you want to go into every single artist that's on there, that's fine. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, I me personally, I thought they did go good. personally. I thought they did good. I thought they did good. And what usually, you, now, like, now tell me, now defend your argument. Okay, you cool. tell me what you thought that they did good. Boss man, D Lo is he's on fire. We're not right talking now. about you talk. I'm talking specifically about Maya the Dawn and no, Scarlett because about, you said no. no I said no, you I said I was they a hater. Did. You called me a hater, so I want you to defend why you calling me a hater, bro. No, before I you am. get the boss man D Lo and them niggas. I was saying that I thought Double XL did a good job with choosing the artist okay. to be on there. That's what I'm saying. Okay, like because it was it was a one guy that I didn't even know, Richard Mary. Yeah, I didn't even know who he is. Okay. But I'm not about to say he don't deserve it because I know clearly I might not be his demographic. Okay. The same with Maya the Don and the same with Scarlett. Now I've seen Maya the Don and I've seen Scarlett. You've seen him, okay? Yes, and I and I. They Scarlet for sure, right? She's been a, she's been doing her thing on the internet. What? All right, <laughs> again, what does doing your thing on the internet mean? It could mean exactly. a couple things. Exactly, the, the same it thing could that mean you a said. Things. The same thing you said to me is the same thing I'm push I'm pushing back to you. When I'm pause, what I'm saying is is this right now, Scarlet and Maya the Dawn. While I do think that both of those young ladies have talent, mm -hmm. I don't think that even one of them could sell out a show by themselves in their city. By themselves, no openers, nothing. Now, no openers, 
by themselves, right? I'm not saying that they're not talented. I just don't think that in the two years that we've seen them putting up, putting in work, that they put in the work to be on the cover. That don't mean that I hate them. That don't mean that I dislike them. That just means that I think that they didn't deserve to be on there. No different than any other list. And it's not my list. You think Lay Banks can um can uh sell us? Yeah. Here? Well, I, and Lay Banks, I think that she has more records. I think that she has more records and more momentum between last year going into this year than those other two young ladies. You see him doing this shit because he don't know what to say. No, I'm looking. I'm looking. Go at ahead, the, I'm looking at the list. I'm just looking at the list. I'm. I'm. I'm look only, at the list. Go, keep, keep going. But no, you don't. You see keep how, going through the list. You, you see, I only asked about Lay Banks because I'm right, like, but, but you had a point. I so how is that? I just want. I'm, I'm, no, I'm. I'm agreeing with you. No, I'm. I'm not asking for you to agree. I'm asking you because I, you, excuse me, love to throw around this word hate. How is that hate? Hate because we don't know. I, do they have a? Uh, do they have any type of qualifications or anything on Double XL that says will make them choose? We're not people? talking about Double XL's qualifications. We're talking about our personal opinions. Yeah. So I'm saying like if you say you if they don't deserve it in my mind I'm like okay Double XL been around for a while right so clearly they if they see somebody they choose it then they are qualified to make the decision. So I'm okay with that. That's what I'm thinking. They, right. Oh, I mean out of ten people you, I don't think that they get it right every single year. But you it's hard to get I, I it's hard to get everybody to agree with you. I'm not necessarily trying to agree. I'm just giving, and I don't. People's gonna say that I'm hating on these young ladies. That's fine for you to say that. I don't hate neither one of them. I don't know them. I met. I never met Scarlett. But I met Maya the Dawn at Skiller Baby last show, and I met her before that. I think that she's a talented young lady, and I think that she has a great upside. But I don't think that she did put in the work in the past two years to make the cover. Same with Scarlett. I think that they have an opportunity to be something. I don't think that they have. The, that they've put in the work. That's all. I don't yeah. think they put I in mean, the I work. I mean, I personally, when I, I sent it to you because I, I was like, I like it. And yeah. usually, I know the last couple of years, I was like, I, I don't think I agree with a lot of the stuff they put mm -hmm. on there. But this one I thought was dope. Like the Mexican OT. Yeah. Uh, the rich, uh, what's the the um, big homie, big extra plug yeah. from, from Texas. He's one of the biggest streaming he, artists there is right now. He's going crazy. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, so I sent it to you because I'm like, bro, this is good. And when you said that, I'm like, I ain't think about it because I, I, I knew what they, you was like, I don't think, I, you was like, I think it was good, but it was yeah, two people that don't deserve to be on it. No, I'm talking, yeah, you was like, I think it's two people that don't, that don't, that shouldn't be up there. Something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. And I'm like, who? You was like, Scarlett and uh, Maya Dawn. And I'm yeah. like, I'm thinking they should be up there, if anything, only because I was, I was familiar. And it, it's been times where I don't even know who the fuck they got on, up on there. Like, it's been times where I don't even know. So like, I thought it was good because like, at least I know these people. No? Wait, but by you saying you don't know something, that don't like you can you don't know nothing. So it's like like you talking about at least I know these I people. Mean, like bro, you don't know nothing. Like you talking about some at least I know these people. Like what does that mean for you to know something? Perfect. That's good. That's good. I I'll tell you because I'm not in the into know the the know when it comes to to the music. Sometimes especially the younger artists. Why so if you I know, know them, so if I know them, that means that they had to break going out on with twenty year olds right now. <laughs> probably and, not, and I probably don't care. I'm that. I'm not like a purist per se, but I'm that uh, <laughs> I'm that that guy that like I don't care for that young shit. I'ma keep it a hundred with it's you. It's not about being young or not, bro. I don't it's just care music for music end of the day. It's I don't not, care I, for that music. I'm telling you, and that's why I like Bossman Delo Delo so much. Big, Bossman Delo's young. That's what I'm saying. That's why I like him so much because I usually don't. I just in the chat like I usually don't like these you niggas like when they come out. Plug music. Yes, that's young. I don't. I don't give that like. What do you mean? It's just from a different region. He's from it, a different region. It doesn't give that like he's young though. That that thug like. So what is young music like? That that just shoot him up, kill kill, bang bang shit. Everybody like, raps about shooting somebody. Yeah, no, but it's just the the boom bop shit. Like I don't want to hear bop. that What's shit, boom man. Like, I just don't want to hear that. What's boom bop? Like you know what I'm saying? I man. don't. I'm, that's why I'm asking like, you. Let me think of somebody. Uh, he just be rambling. That's what I'm don't, trying to tell you, bro. bro. I don't like this let me new tell you shit, something. yo. I don't like the like. I'm not a big fan of um nothing. What's the nigga name? Uh, he got a big ass fan base. Who? Young boy, I don't want to hear that shit. Okay, I'm not a big fan of, and I don't know these niggas' names because I don't know these young niggas. I don't care to know them. I don't like it. That, all I'm saying is, what do it mean for you to not know nothing? Like that I, don't. Mean I'm nothing. saying that because because I'm not invested in it. If I'm not invested in, it, I put my time in it. So if somebody was able to penetrate my bubble, pause of of interest. <laughs> oh nah, yo, yo. Nah, 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 nah. Flag on the play. Flag on the play, man. Time out. I knew out. that was going to be crazy. Time out. I knew that was going to nah, be crazy. Nah, time out. This man said, if somebody was able to penetrate my, my bubble. My bubble would have thought... Nah, 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 bro. Your man said... Listen, if, even if you don't play pause, 
This is like <laughs> high, high level nastiness, bro. This is high level like fuckery. This is high level like disgustingness. This is the worst we've ever heard. Bro, this is like DEFCON 5 level pause yeah. play. Your man said if anybody was ever able to penetrate my bubble. Bro, penetrate, like how do you form these thoughts? And this is why I'm telling y'all out there, don't listen to Jay Hill. When he calls me a hater, don't listen to him. When he says like nostalgia just to finish a sentence, no. don't listen to him because listen, listen to how he comes up with what bro, listen to how he puts that words makes sense, together. Bro. If they He's able to, able to, able to pen, <laughs> he don't think before he speaks, bro. He listen, do not think but he's the able to penetrate my bubble of interest. Oh my god, he said it again. He keeps saying it. He's not he's tripling down now, bro. We are having all right, all right. we are having a, a like this is a grand slam. If, if this was baseball, this is a grand slam. This is a three point at the buzzer. This All is right. the old Dell Beckham catch like this. This is not that. Your You're man dragging. said penetrate. Right. You got pause okay. of the year. All right. Penetrate my bubble is okay. insane. All right. All right. All right. And that's it. All I'm saying is, if I don't, like you said, I don't care. I don't know. So that's it's clear, right? So we can make that clear, right? I don't be listening to music I don't like, right? So if I'm able to hear something that I usually don't listen to, if I'm able to see something and, and recognize and know the name to the face, then I'm a, I would say that they are pretty big because if, if they wasn't, I wouldn't know them. I wouldn't care. Like even the rich, you, you told me, you was like, uh, he been doing crazy. I don't know that nigga. You feel me? So it's like, and you was like, he, you, I think you said he, he, he did enough to be on there. I say he put in work. Yeah, he put in work. And if he put in work, I don't, I, I, I can't even tell you a song. Maybe if you name one, I'm like, oh, that's him. Right? To be honest, I didn't even know that uh, the left. Let me see you do it until Punch was like three one zero baby or some shit. I don't be knowing these niggas. I don't care. So the fact that I know, I'm like, stop oh. talking about it then. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, bro, I'm in, I'm in the space. It's too late. No, stop talking about it. You stop should, talking about what? Stop talking about music. Man. Oh no, it's too late. You, you I'm here stop, now, nah, man. Stop talking about nah, music, bro. Got you, you keep you I keep expressing you. how much you don't care. I don't care, bro. I don't care I don't about care. the young shit, bro. I can like music and I don't I care. care. I, bro, I don't I can, care about I can, what they doing, but I'ma defend them. I'm not defending what? them. I'm you just are. saying you saying that they don't de deserve something. No, you call me a hater. Yes, that's hating. That's not hate. That's hating. If you don't agree with something, that don't make you a hater. To say that if they If you didn't... don't agree, if you don't agree, it's people, it's people that Niggas have... call me, I was a hater because I I, I thought uh, Kendrick Lamar was overrated. A hater? No, people called you a hater because at the point where I asked you about Kendrick Lamar being overrated, and you were right. You did give the definition of being overrated. All I asked was what you don't like about him. You never articulated that point. That's why people called you a hater. Not because you said he was overrated, because anybody could call anybody overrated. If I say that somebody's overrated, and then I say, well, you tell me what you think about him, and then you don't articulate the point, it seems like how you just be making up sentences and saying that people could penetrate your bubble. So I'm just, I'm just... Bro, I'm just keeping it a stack, bro. Just if you don't, if you don't want to know nothing about no music, if you not listen, bro, because these young people, these young people look at these platforms like yours and mine and all of that, and they look at it for hope, and they look at it to say, yo, man, I, I will hope that. Hold on, I will hope that Jay Hill, if he knows my music, would be bumping it or whatever. So when you saying, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Uh, yeah, I know I seen this person before, but I don't really care. I'm just saying, bro, just don't talk about music. No, I like music now. I'm starting to like it. I'm beginning to... I'm here now. I'm in this space now. It's too It's too late. I guess, man. What do you mean? I guess. So, hey, bro, cut this shit because you don't like this shit all the time. I, I was just over your house and you was like... No, we're not going to have the conversation about what we talked about in my house because sure. it wasn't on camera. And the conversation that I had with you was not related to people's music. It was about... So you even bringing that no, up is a little... no, it's about the space, on, bro. though. Not, 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 no, hold on. The conversation I had with you was a private conversation. For sure. So that's what I'm saying. But bro, I'm why saying, are you bringing that you can, up? You can see that that's it's not similar. The same, no, that's not the same it's thing, similar. bro. I, that's not the same thing, bro. It's similar. But we'll talk off we, camera no, no, about I'm that. Not, I'm not going to bring up. You don't got to that. I'm saying it's, it can be similar. When you when you do something, right? It's like, it can be like, okay, what's next? I'm, no? No? No. So you're telling me if you run every day... And you get you used to running. You could be like, man, you Jay know Hill, what I want? Talk about I, I, music, I, I want to do something don't talk, else. Don't talk about these young people music, man. That's all. Why? Don't talk because you don't even know they know these songs. I know some of them. You don't them songs. know. No, you don't even know none of their songs. You don't know none of. You don't know who they on tour with. You so, don't know who so, they opening so, up for. You don't know who they. So affiliated because okay, with. okay, okay. What, what does that mean? What does that matter to that the conversation? Mean, that means a lot. Because, what? All right. What? All right. I'm. I'm. The reason I'm trying to tell you, but you keep saying what? I'm asking you. You're not saying anything. Okay, before I, <clears throat> excuse me, before I was so really interrupted, 
Um, what I'm trying to tell Jay He's Hill is... He's trying to paint a narrative. What I'm, what I'm trying to tell Jay Hill is, is that if you're speaking about whomever young artist, right? Mm -hmm. And like you, I said, like, your ears is lazy. And you said, well, I don't want to hear this and I don't want to hear that. And I'm not trying to hear this and I don't want to hear that. If you're not at least giving listens mm -hmm. to give assessments based upon what you don't like, if you're just looking at one or two things where you, while you're scrolling and say, oh, I don't like that, but you never gave it a chance... I don't think it's fair to even talk about their music because if it's if it's if it's if if one of these artists said artists if NBA YoungBoy passes away right mm -hmm. and I'm you know I don't believe in like saying something that is gonna come to fruition none but like if he if he was to pass away like Julio Fulio mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you never listened to a Julio Fulio record right never. me personally I wouldn't be comfortable talking about Julio Fulio unless we're having a conversation about like gun violence and all of that amongst the community in Florida. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't talk nothing about his music because I didn't listen to his music. So what I'm saying is, is like, it can't be both things at the same time. You can't, you can't on one hand say, I don't listen, I don't like that, I don't know. But then when they do something that you don't approve of, then it's, you can have a conversation about it. That's what I'm saying. Wait, no, that's not one. I'm not having no conversation about that I don't approve of. I'm saying I don't, I categorize the young folks like I don't really listen to you, young you don't music. Listen to, but, yeah. But, but, how, but, but the, I'm not talking about what none of these young niggas do. What I'm saying is, is that you're only proving the point even further by saying that I don't listen to none of their music. So if you don't listen to they, none, of, none of their I music, I shouldn't be talking about Double XL. You shouldn't be talking about Talking about and not not specifically just double XL. I'm just talking about young artists as a whole. But period. I talk to these artists, so of course I'm gonna talk. I'm a, but I'm, you don't even listen to their music. But that doesn't matter. That does matter. It doesn't because okay. the conversations still are great. All right. If you, I just if you were, if you because we don't talk wait, about music. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. If you had the interview said whomever. Uh huh. Now one thing I can say that you're good at is you're good at doing research, right? And you're good at like finding out things about people and. Being prepared to have a conversation. But if you're going to talk to a young artist, right, mm -hmm. that's coming to sit on your platform and the conversation that they possibly want to have is regarding their music. Mm -hmm. Now, you done, at, you done found out that they done got this case. I'm hypothetically speaking. Yeah, yeah, this is not right. real. You done found out that they got this case or they done did this or whatever the case may be. But then when it comes to them saying, yo, um, did you ever hear my tape that I dropped in 2021 before I got signed? And you like, nah, I never listened to it. How do you think that that makes... Wait a second. Right. How do you think that that makes that artist feel? That's you a, don't care. No, 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 no. I'm that question is just no correlation. But it is a I'm big a, I'm correlation. I'm asking the question. It's a big correlation. I could see them kind of being thrown off. No, that's a big. It's a big correlation. The reason why it's a big correlation is because you're only talking to this person, but could said person because they are artists, right? Now, if you want to have a conversation, that's not really true. But all right, I mean, but I think that all right, bro. If you listen, if 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 I was selling. If I was the top car salesman in, in, in Gwinnett County or something, and I was known for being the top car salesman in Gwinnett County, and you, I came on your platform, and you wanted to talk to me about whatever you wanted to talk to me, but at the point when I'm trying to tell you, I want to talk about what it is that I do, mm -hmm. and you haven't done any research on what it is. Now, I'm not talking about my life. I'm talking about what it is that I do. Right. If you don't want to have no type of conversation with me on what it is that I do, the reason why I'm even sitting in your chair, the reason why these views is eventually going to go to your monetization, because I'm sitting in your chair on your platform, and you don't know nothing about what I do, then why Like, why would that make me even want to speak to you? Or because when I come and speak to you, it's going to make me say, like, this nigga don't even mess with me for real. I'll tell you why. Because the conversation, one, bro, we, bro. So, and, and that's, I don't like about our, our, our community, for sure, to keep what? it on it with you. Because if that same person was to go on Dave Letterman or whoever else, we're not even questioning that. It's a conversation because Dave Letterman has built himself up to be this prominent figure. So now you want to you wanna, uh, take what I have, right? And that's my platform as well. So I get what you're saying, but not necessarily because if, we're, if, my, if my platform isn't about hip hop, really, then you can't expect me to know your music. Now, well, me personally... Do I listen to the music when I'm preparing? That's a part of what I listen to. But you might ask me, did I hear a song in 2020? I might not but know. To your point, but to your point, David Letterman has a space for artists to perform on his platform. So again, but that don't mean he know that his music from 2020. Wait a second. Wait a second. There's a space for them to display their talent on the platform. So it's a give and take, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm coming up there and you don't know me, and that's fine. You never heard of me a day in, 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 my, in my life, mm -hmm. in your life. But I'm on your platform to perform my said song that got me up there. Then the change is is, is fair exchange. When I come to somewhere, no, seriously, bro, I'm because hold, uh, seriously, because you get a lot of a lot of things where 
take ESTG for instance, right? Mm -hmm. You seen when he went viral with him and, and Bootleg Kev, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now, aside from Bootleg Kev is the homie. I mess with Bootleg Kev, right? And I think that two things could be true at one time because there are artists that go to platforms and they only want to talk about BS or mm -hmm. they only want to talk about the, the negative stuff that's a part of their life. You wait, can't wait, have wait, this I, argument. I'm sorry. I, can I finish my you point? You can, but you can't have this argument and then say two things can be true because that's what I'm saying. Wait a second. Let me. I didn't get a chance to finish. All right, right. Now, at the set time, when the artist comes up on the platform, this is why I'm saying that I'm having this argument is because when the artist came on the platform, regardless to what ESTG had going on that day, what he said is that he wanted to talk about music, right? Right. Now, at the point, Bootleg Kev started talking to him, he said about aliens and all types of, on some type Joe Rogan type interview type shit. He just wasn't with it. He got up and he walked off. Mm -hmm. Now, both two negatives then make one positive, right? But at the same, and the same factor, I'm, what I'm saying is, is that Yes, it's cool for you to know all these things, but you at least got to listen and know these people's music if you're going to insert yourself to a space where say, well, no, nah, I'm already here. I, I, I talk about I, I'm, I'm already in this space. If you're in this space, then you got to indulge in the music because if you if you you have to indulge in the music, brother, there's no way possible that you could be on camera and talk about music and then in the same breath say, I don't listen to none of these niggas and, 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 and think that that's okay. Mm. It, you, it, you can't because you have it your way. You have it your way for them, for you to have them up here and for you to talk about whatever, but you don't want to have it your way when it's time for you to know they, what their music is. That's not true. For me, I understand your point, but that's just not true for me. Like, like it, it, that, could, that could be a true statement. I understand that and I respect that, especially being in this craft. But because that's not true for me, I, I can't agree with it. Because Jay, you wouldn't turn down an NBA young boy interview tomorrow. You wouldn't turn it down. That's what I'm saying, Wayne. All right, uh, yeah, you wouldn't but, turn it down. But if you did, but at the point... If NBA young boy, he got this case hanging, I'm hypothetically speaking again, mm -hmm. he got this case hanging over his head. It's mm -hmm. a bunch of bullshit. He got a hundred baby moms. He got all these deaths and the carcer incarcerations, all these things that, that's been As in his a, career. Journalist, I know about that. I get his it. career and all of that. You think, I'm just I'm just asking you a question, and we don't even have to go no further after this, but you think that even at that point where I said everything I said, and it's obvious things that you know, that you shouldn't have had listened to or know any of his music to even formulate any kind of conversation through his music And what I'm him. saying, I don't think you get what I'm saying. By that time, I will, and I would have, because I respect my craft. That's what I'm saying. In this present moment, I'm telling you, my preference isn't the young kids. But if I have a 12-year-old, Come on my platform. I'm going to respect him enough to do my due diligence to not only know what he's been through, but why he got here, how his music sound. So even if we do have a conversation, I might say... So only if you got it, only if you got to interview him. As of this moment, yes. At the, as of this moment, for sure. But okay. if I had a pres if I have a preference, I don't really care for this. But that's just like work, bro. Like, and and like if I'm working, like I could I could be so good at something, but it's like, yo, if I do something for so long, I can see me getting tired of it. And that's just being human. So when you say that, like, I shouldn't talk about it, no, that's not necessarily true. Now, what I will say is you should do a job at getting more familiar with it. And if we're gonna be technical, I'm the most transparent nigga. That's why we're here. So we, so you can't say that I'm not doing my due diligence to get to know just because we might have a conversation. No, I say you're not doing your due diligence to listen to music. But That's I'm, I'm not about to li listen. I'm familiar with Maya Dom. I'm familiar with uh, uh, Scarlett, right? I'm not about to if we randomly having a a conversation with uh, Isaac Hayes, right? We're randomly having these conversations. You might randomly ask me like, "Yo, do you know such and such?" And in that moment, I might not know. But moving forward, you know I, who the barges is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But in that moment, I'm not about to uh if I don't know, I don't know. But if we if we go past that, I know. That's the whole point of this space. The whole point of this space. Yes. So I guess. The only thing is, the thing when we talked about this before. People are not people not they not gonna accept this or they might not be they might be not familiar to them because my work put me here. Whereas you, like your work put you here, but we've seen it over a span of maybe 20 years. No. People haven't seen, they haven't seen. They haven't seen it, but they know that your, your resume speaks for itself. It depends, it, it depend, because I mean, it depends. Because when I first got, like, or in media, I had a lot of people who was journalists telling me that I wasn't qualified to 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 be um, on a, a, a platform like Everyday Struggle because I had never done any interviews and I had never done none of this stuff. And why? And and honestly, same thing. No, kind of. Honest, but but wait a second. No, because no, it wasn't the same thing. Because and I mean, the reason why I'm telling you why it's not the same thing is because the people who were saying that were saying that they should have been there. Oh, that's I didn't why. say. I didn't say that's that. That's hate. 
That's hate. That's hate. I didn't say that Maya the Don or Scarlett shouldn't be there because one of my artists should be there. That's you not didn't, and you even I, said. I think you even said, um, like, because I think I brought up or you, you even defended it. You was like, I don't think, um, you ain't say nothing about no artists because you got uh, uh, Baby Money. Yeah. You got um. What's the girl name? Gloss. Gloss. But that's and but you that's ain't even irrelevant. mentioned it. But that, no, I'm, but saying, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm saying you didn't what I'm even saying, mention that's it. That's irrelevant. And the reason why they haven't been on that platform is because they haven't put in the. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That, that, that's why I'm saying it's, it's not hate. That can't be hate because hate would have been like, yo, man, they, I didn't say that they was trash. I I, ne- I I didn't say that they was trash. And you I did. and and I didn't say and I I didn't disrespect them. I just said, yo, I don't think they put in the work. Speaking of this, that's uh, prove my point even mm-hmm. further more. I listened to your guy. He's one of the young niggas. Who? Baby Money. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, all right. <laughs> then I said I text you. So that shows you that I'm doing like I'm not just bro. Yeah, and that, that wait to your point, yo. Cause I don't like this. Like niggas try to be saying a bunch of shit that cause you do the same thing. You might not use a different word, but niggas say all this shit that make that 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 formulate a, a paragraph or a statement that makes sense, and that shit don't make sense. Because if you're on Instagram and you see something that you don't like, you're not you're not going into it. Like if what? Like yo, you are crazy. Like you mean to tell me if somebody that you don't like, whatever your opinion is, you go into their project and listen to the album, that makes no sense. No, you do I, this because you work give, in that no, space. No, no, no. No, bro, I don't work. Bro, I don't. If I listen to whomever project that, I don't have to do that for work. So what if I'm you saying, listen, I listen to, to if music, you hear a song. I listen to, listen, I listen to music, bro. Listen, I'm a music person, right? Right. So if I see a new artist and I see whether it's it's a hundred people listening to them or a thousand or Forget one. Forget the people. If you see a new if artist I, and, and you don't and, like the song, you're going to go tap into yeah, more? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll go listen. I'll go listen. Now, listen. I'll go listen to formulate an opinion on why I like them or not. Or I'll give them a chance because, bro, every time... It might be one song. Most people... I, I, I don't care what nobody say, bro. One of my favorite artists of all time is Playboy Cardi. If I give the average person a Playboy Cardi record or if I ask them about Playboy Cardi, they're going to be like... Or the nigga that had the Millie Rock song, and they'll just reduce him to just that one song. And I'll be like, yo, bro, he got other songs, right? Now, the thing is, is that a lot of people will miss out because if they didn't like Magnolia, they won't listen to other things and, and won't be able to form an opinion. They'll just say, oh, I don't like that one song. So for me, listen, for me, for me, because I don't have to, bro, I get a check without listening to people music. I don't have to listen to people music to, to get to pay my, my bills. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, is because I work in a space where I have to talk about people's music, I listen to people's music so that if I say I don't like something or I do like something, at least I gave them a fair shot. I'm not going to listen to one song and say, oh, you trash, because guess what? A person might see my one, bro, right now, and me reinserting myself in the media space independently, I'm posting content every day. A person might see Tell one- my page. Oh, it's out the box with Wayno, you know what I mean? And Wayno 119 on YouTube, right? But I might post something like I, I posted a, 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 a little short story I did about Nas having a sneaker. That post did good on my TikTok. It did good on my my um what's that? My YouTube. It did good on my Instagram. Right. Good engagement for because I got shit that did way better than that. But it did good for me doing a new thing with sneakers. Right. When I post another one, somebody might see the other one and be like, oh, this trash. I ain't listening to nothing he got to say. You know what I mean? But if you don't go and you might find something you like, you can't just make a, a full set. This is not like food, right? Where you go to a place and you you get food, you get a sampler, and they giving you a sample of everything. And you, after you go through every snap, you be like, oh, no, this trash. Now, if you went through everything and I'm trash, don't subscribe. But if you go through, if you at least take the opportunity and give me a little bit of time, if I can't make you, if, if, if it's nothing I can't convince you on, then you could go ahead. I think, I think uh, you got But gotta, you got to give a chance. No, I think you got a great point. I don't think the... The um the average consumer does that. However, that's why I said I just think the the approach that you're taking wasn't the best for you to be so literal, right? Approach. You told me not to do it. You said get out of the, get out of it. You, you ain't say niggas music, you ain't, bro. but just because a nigga don't listen, you ain't say yo be more responsible with your platform. You ain't say yo you gotta like this is something that you gotta do if you're in this space. You said you don't feel out. a need to. That why would I tell you to be more responsible with your platform when because you don't even feel? Wait a second, you don't even feel the need to, bro. You, you I do. That's not no, true. You, bro, you literally said you literally said I ain't li- I don't listen to nothing. Wait no, that young shit. That's, I don't have to. Wait no, like, wait no. That's not ahead. true. Because if again I wouldn't listen to Baby Money, right? 
I don't have no reason to listen to him. I wouldn't. You only have... listen to him because of me. Because you know who I am, and I and I'm telling you, yo, I'm running around with baby money. If I didn't say that, you wouldn't listen to baby money, hey, bro. Let Wayne no, spade, no. Spade, bro. The spade is the spade. That's my point, Wayne. No, that's my point. L literally, if I didn't, if I was lazy, if I didn't have a need to, I wouldn't have done that. I don't give a damn about that. I don't listen to fucking uh um. I can't I don't even want to say the, the name. Right. I don't listen to my man's artists all the time, but because I shared a space with you, right? And I, I respect it. I'm like, yo, let, let me at least get this a try. So if we have the conversation, one, hold up, hold up. Two, same with the picture, right? When you came here, I said, it was in my mind to already go do this research so I know, right? Because I care about that space, right? So what I'm saying is, I'm now you got to listen to me because I listened to you and I took everything you said and, I'm, and I made it work for me. And I'm just saying, yo, you can listen too. <laughs> your point is you ain't saying get out of it your point is just saying be responsible so if you're going to be here make sure you own that space and you 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 do what's necessary to be in that space that's what you're saying but for you right for what you said that's irresponsible on your end to say get out of it to say get nah, out I'm of just it just calling it what it is bro that's not i'm saying it's cool i'm not saying to you cool. I'm not, no i did listen to everything you said just because i don't agree with you don't mean i ain't listening it's cool it's cool I'm not saying to get off camera. I'm just saying that when it comes to talking about the music aspect, you said of get it, out of the space. I'm saying when it comes to talking about people's music of it. When you talking about music, I'm not telling you to not to not get your money. Get your money how you get your money. What I'm saying is, is bro, don't talk about no music people if you're not listening to their music, my nigga. That's all I'm saying. You can't. You don't talk about no. Listen, I'm not going to comment about no boxer if I ain't watched the fight, bro. Mm. If I see a nigga get knocked out, I'm not gonna be like, oh, he just got knocked out. I can't make it. That's lazy. That's not. That's making an assessment just by something going viral. If I see something go viral, right? If I see something go viral, and I want to talk, and I'm talking about something, or I want to give my thoughts on it. All right, this this whomever him her whoever, because we ain't talking about nobody specific. Right. Got a song. Oh, I think this song is trash. Let me go listen and see if they might got something else though, right? Because they might got this one song that's working for them that's trash, right? They might got this one song that's working for them that's trash, but before I call them completely trash, if I, I'm, I'm going to take my time to give it a listen. You can't just lead with that is what I'm... All I'm, I'm saying you're right in our space. I'm not trying to be right. No, no. Forget what you're trying to be. I'm saying that's right in our space, but you can't expect that from an average person. Like if I go I'm not to talking to average people. I'm talking to you, brother. I'm talking to you. Why you can't never understand that? You keep talking about the consumer and the this and the that. I'm talking to Jay Hill. I did not say how people consume music. I'm talking to you. Okay, You're not cool. the average person, cool. Jay Hill. Cool, cool, cool. You're not the average person. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you with the, the delivery. That's all. That's it. That's it. Because when you talking, I'm looking at it like I'm... What, what I say about the Kendrick Lamar say, I'm, I'm talking as a consumer. I've been saying that. So, because that's how I see myself, right? I'm like, bro, I'm tapping into this. Great point. Because I said, when I told you that that's the reason why you feel a certain way is because the consumer that you are, you know what your reply was to me? What? What does that have to do with anything? That's what you said to me. What does that have to do with anything? I probably, I probably, it was one of the clips that went viral. I said, I said, yo, the reason why you feel like that is because of the way that you consume music. Because you the nigga that you not gonna go find the artist, but you are gonna turn on the playlist. And throughout the playlist, if you find a song, that's how you are gonna engage. But it's funny, but that's that's but that's not me though. But what I'm saying, but I don't like playlists. I'm hypothetically speaking again, right? So what I'm saying is, is when I said that to you, I said, yo, it's because of the type of consumer you are. Right? Mm -hmm. You said, what that got to do with anything? All I'm saying is, is bro, if you got to talk about niggas that's rapping, talk about they, like, do enough, do enough due diligence to listen to their songs, bro. Oh, for sure. Listen, I do but that, don't though. listen. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is this, is you listen because you know they pulling up. I'm saying, bro, you listen to music. You listen to music in your car. Mm -hmm. You listen to music when you work out. You might, I don't know if you listen to music where you cooking or your leisure time or whatever, or when you, when you, you and baby girl, you playing around with your daughter or whatever. I don't know if you listen to music at that point either, right? All I'm saying is, is at the point where you go, you, you, you know that you sit on a, a space where you talking about music, listen to music. That's it. Say less. You got it. That's my homework. I've been doing that. Bro, don't act like that, bro. We talk about this all, now, now you get on camera, you act like this? We on camera. <laughs> Yo, tell them um about uh everything. I gotta go, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, <laughs> nah, just on so, you know if you can or nah, my bad. We can just end. You could, uh, I'm gonna let you record some else. <laughs> I mean what? You know what yeah, I mean? You, you gotta let me know. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. You gotta let me know. Nah, my bad. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Uh, I mean, 
once I was really interrupted again by Jay Hill. The fucking um, nerve of this nigga. YouTube, uh, YouTube.com at Wayno119. You know what I'm saying? It's the same on all my socials as Twitch. That's my uh my channel where I'm just talking about everything hip hop, you know what I'm saying, just life, etc. And then um out the box with Wayno, at out the box with Wayno, you know what I'm saying, on YouTube. That's why I talk about sneakers. Me and my son got the stuff where we go back and forth talking about sneakers. I actually got to head home and do some recording today. So I appreciate yeah. y'all, Jay Hill. I appreciate you for sharing your platform with me. You feel me? Thank it's, you. It's our show, bro. Okay. Well, appreciate you for, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, because at first you see, yeah, our show, you know at what first mean? what Thank happened? You. No, bro. Nah, yeah, still yeah, you nah, my, I don't fuck with this nigga. Nah, you my nigga, bro. Don't do that on camera, bro. Don't <laughs> okay, do that on bro. camera, bro. Yeah, you my dog. You my motherfucking nigga, bro. Okay. We out, man. We gotta go.